eating. I've been sitting here and I've got one cat up on my shoulder. He <laughs> loves to sit up on your shoulder and nestle into your neck. Anyway, I'm here again to debunk, I suppose, some of the rumours that are going around. Uh, oh God, it's really hard when you've got a cat sitting on your shoulder and you're trying to do something on your cat laptop. Anyway, how's everyone been? Have you all had a lovely day? I have. Had to go out. I don't like to. I hate going out. Especially if I've got to go shopping. I hate going to shopping. I could have it delivered, but then I'm not going to go and have all the two things from a shop. I can only go from a certain shop. So I'm not going to have all the two items from one shop and then pay like five or six pound delivery on top of that. And I can get half of that if I go on my own. So. we still got no news on Seth Rogers. Lord Boy telling us anything. TBI are not telling us anything. Rumour was that TBI or law enforcement was at their house last Sunday. Right? And then we heard they was at their house again. What day was on now? Thursday? We heard, I think, they was at their house again on Tuesday, or something like that. Well, JLR reached out to one of his contacts, so they went round and had a look. And they even took photos. Maybe making out those walking the dog, I don't know. Anyway. No one was there. Was there? No one. I don't know about Sunday because no, uh, no one sent anybody around to check. Everyone's got their boys in that area. Really have. They've all got a neighbour or someone they know who lives around there, and they just get in touch with them and say, "Is there any TBI, FBI, law enforcement at their house?" And I've also heard that they've now moved from that caravan park I was at. Don't know where they've gone. And I don't care. Really don't. As long as law enforcement are keeping track of them, that's all I, I care about. Right? Now, I actually go on a Facebook page where if you're going to get any information, good information, correct information, that's the page to go on. And it's the mysterious, what's it called now? Mysterious disappearance. Hang on. Mysterious disappearance. Sebastian Rogers. Right. Oh, okay. The disappearance of Sebastian Rogers dash Henderson Film, Tennessee. If you want any information, go there. They will tell you. You still got these people coming to you and saying, oh, have you heard about this? Where's your proof? We're not going to say anything until we've got proof that, is, that has happened or that has been said. Right. Now I put a post up asking if anyone had heard about the polygraph that 
My post has anyone heard anything on Well, we know if Chris is doing one with Lauren Ford, so I'm not going to he has or not. And he can come back and say, I passed. I took my polygraph and I passed. Do we believe you? How no? Right. Um Yeah. Uh the one we said was arranged through the Nancy Grace show. So he may not be able to say anything about it. Because she'll want to uh a video of that herself. So it may be held to a confidential confidentiality agreement. We've got some people going around, right? Who are all against Seth Rogers. I was quite surprised to hear this last night, but there's a YouTuber. All for Seth, right? All for Seth. And looking for Sebastian and all this lot. She did drive through, did the drive around in the daytime and on the evening, which is really, really informative. Right? But then apparently she did a four hour she had a four hour phone call with Chris and Katie. Right? was not recorded and after that it was all Chris and Katie. Chris this, Katie that, not a bad word to say about them. And then I heard a new YouTuber, Moo Moo, if, if anyone on YouTube knows what Moo Moo means, then you know. For the bad connection. And my connection seems pretty good tonight. I can't understand this. Because I, it normally shows up screen if I've got a bad connection. So I don't understand that. And I will tell you if I've got a bad connection because it shows me. So I always warn you if I've got a bad connection because of the weather. If I if sometimes with a bad connection I can get kicked off stream stream yard and I have to come back in. So I warn you beforehand in case that happens. But it's not saying anything on my side about any bad connection. What I might do, I might invest in a new speaker. Because it might just be my speaker on my laptop. So next week I'll, I'll invest in a new speaker and hopefully that will help. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to hear that. It must be my speaker. Because I know a lot of the others use external speakers. I'm not using an external speaker. I'm using the audio and what I put on my laptop. And so next week I'll buy an external mic. See if that helps. I'm really sorry about that. 
Anyway, what was I saying now? Um, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. But before I started doing this, people used to say, StreamYard are very bad with their, with their audio. Right? And sometimes I'd be watching a YouTuber and I'd be going, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm going, yes, we can hear you. There's always checking. Hi there, make a difference. There's always checking to see if you could if they could if you could hear them. So I am going to get an external mic next week. First thing on my shopping list. Hopefully that will solve any problems. Hopefully. If not, StreamYard are going to get a nasty email off me. Because I pay a lot of money, we pay a lot of money for StreamYard, you know what I mean? It's not cheap. So, and then, you know, like my internet, I'm paying a lot for my internet because I've changed um, suppliers. Because when I first started, I was with another supplier. And I was always, always losing internet. Always. So I had to wait a week or so before my new internet was coming, being connected up. And when I spoke to them on the phone, I said, will I get a good reception oh yes yes you'll get a good reception don't believe a word anyone tells you it's only me i only live here so it's only me using the internet there's no one else using my internet and some yards it's really bad but i've put that down to the weather a lot Last night it was quite bad. We had some very high winds here. My one cat don't like that. He hates that wind, the howling. My other cat is used to it. He just goes to bed. Oh God, what was I saying now? Eh? Anyway, there's people going around saying Seth has failed polygraph well i'm sorry if he has it could be because of his medication he's on that the doctor gave him for his shoulder and to be honest with you show me proof give me some proof that seth has failed right and then someone said about cp he didn't take it now that isn't new. That is nothing new. If, C if CP has not took the polygraph by law enforcement, that is nothing new for us. We knew that would happen. Right? So, as I said, I could have put a bet on yesterday, the other day, for CP not to take that, and I'd have won quite a lot of money back. I was just shivering now. So you're going to the bookies. <laughs> anyway, so no, I don't. I don't joy. joy. I don't think he has. As I said, if it has, it could come back. Um what's that saying they use? Inconclusive because of the medication he's on. But if the police really wanted him to do one, they'd have asked him in the first place. But they haven't asked him. He offered straight away. He offered. And they said no, because they've got it 
on record video video and at work from 6 p.m. Sunday evening to 7 a.m. Monday morning. So that's why I don't need him to take one. But Chris, when he turned around and said, well, law enforcement told me I didn't need to take one. Yeah, but when Chris said he, law enforcement told him, that he didn't need to take one because of where he was. Well, where was you, Chris? Where was you? Between, I don't know, 6 p.m. Sunday evening and 6 a.m. Monday morning. Because we know you weren't working. Tell you how I know he wasn't working. Because JP actually went down by his work once. Right? And it was on the evening he went there. And it was all closed up. There was not work on the evening. And they don't work weekends. Well, I don't think this one works weekends because of where it is on hospital grounds. But I do. I believe he just wanted to say, I'll take this polygraph. I've got nothing to hide. You know what I mean? And then it's like he put a post, he put some out the other day, Sestage, about the searching. And all he said was that he's not taking asking for any more searches to come and help right which so we won't be giving out any more search places and people are going oh so he's not searching he's stopping the search no he's still searching with the searches he has already but you just don't want to take ask anyone else to come in because by asking anyone else, it's having to give out new, give them all the details where we're, where they're meeting, where they're searching. And he doesn't want to put out where they're searching. He took the ones he's got within now. Those people, right? And he doesn't want word getting out as to where they are searching. Because they are being followed. You know what I mean? So if they don't know where they're searching, they can't follow them. So he's thinking of the searches he's got already helping him. Right? Because I thought, there's no way Seth is not going to go out and search. Even though his doctor's telling him not to. He's not going to stop. He's invested too much into this now. Six weeks now he's not been at work. That's a long time for someone not to be at work. So, um, but yes, um, they have not, we have not heard nothing about these polygraphs. I wouldn't, I would believe the fact that CP probably didn't take his. Because CP is just full, full of BS. But you've got all these YouTubers now. Like, I don't know if anyone know who I mean by when I say I'm a YouTube channel. When I, when I say Moo Moo. It's, what's it what's she called now? You know, I can't even think what she's called. Let me have a look. I've got a, I, 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 right, I do subscribe to her, right, and I don't have to go on a channel, I don't know why I subscribe to her, I really don't, um, where is it now, 
I'm not going that one, sorry. Crazy critters on the farm or something. Right now, we all know. Uh, no, not that one. I see, it, see what it is. Crime crazy Twitter's on the farm. Right now, she's come out. I support. I believe. CP and KP. Hi MG, how are you? I'll just say I'm going to buy a new external mic next week because I keep apparently I'm breaking up and it's got to be the mic on my laptop. So I'm gonna buy a new one. I had been look, I was gonna buy one at the beginning. And I thought, no, don't go spending all this money right now. See how your channel goes. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I don't feel well enough to do anything in a day. Right? And I thought I might have days where I might not be able to go live. Or I might even have a week or more where I might not go live. Run in circles. I bet you are. So, but it is taking off. More and more people I know subscribing to. I'm really grateful for. Grateful to all my subscribers. I saw a friend today while I was out, and he actually does this little channel, right, themselves, two of my friends do this channel, and it's to raise awareness for mental health, and for every 50 views they get on a video, this guy gives them five pounds. Now, it may not seem a lot, right? But it all adds up. And this money is then going towards the mental health organisation. And I watch them, and they're about five minutes long. And I'm not joking. I am peeing myself with laughter at some of these things they do. I sit there and I think, I know I know got a screw loose, right? You know, I mean, you know that person who's got that screw loose. Well, these two must have several screw loose, screw loose, screws loose. Because the things I come up with are so painful. I'm like, ouch. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do at the end of every one of my lives, just to lighten it up a bit, because sometimes it can be a bit, ooh. Right, I'm going to show one of their videos. Right. And he went, really? I said, yeah. I said, I'll put it on my live at the end. Just to lighten it all up a bit. And the one I'm showing tonight is about some noodles, this food that like they're eating something. But my other friend, they put something really spicy into it as well. Now, he can eat anything hot. The hotter, the better, he says. But the other guy, you've got to watch the video, really. You really have. I just sit there and go, oh, my God, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> because I could not eat what they're eating. I couldn't. I have no internal. My stomach lining would be totally gone. So I'll be showing that later as just before we finish, okay?
if you're still around, you, when you see someone like a make a prat of themselves, to stick around. These two are going to make a prat of themselves. But so we don't know. We haven't heard anything on the polygraph. And but then last night, people coming in the chat and saying, "Have you?" What was he? Oh, it's now a criminal investigation. Well, there's another YouTuber out there, and I was watching her last night on my TV. I logged off, shut my, turned my laptop off, everything, and I was just chilling out on my sofa. And I was listening to this YouTuber, and I'm going, oh my God. The way she spoke to the people in, in her chat was disgusting. Right? Now, I say everyone's got a, can come on my chat and say, give me their opinion. I have no problem. Right? But what I won't have is like, I had one come on here the other night saying, this is a, what was it he said? It was a fake, this channel was fake, and said, bye. So I said, I'll help you on the way out, bump, and deleted and blocked him. Then we had one last night coming on. I'm sure yeah. I'll show you the door, shall I? Bump, you're gone. Because I, I don't mind anyone giving me their opinion, but don't come on my channel and be nasty. I didn't ask it to anyone on my channel. No one. I give everyone the chance to say what they want to say. So if you want to come on my chat and be nasty, then I'm sorry, you will be out the door. So when I was doing this, uh, set this up for today, I put it on my community chat. I know, I know. I left it up for a, a while, then at the end I did, I went, I'll help you on the way out the door, bye. Because I hate that, I'm not fake. I, I'm as real as real can be. I'm not making anything up. I go by, like, I won't, like, no everyone's saying it's a criminal investigation. It's not. It's not. And this woman last night was on her channel and she said, it's a criminal investigation. Uh, there's some items found behind the scout house. Now, I know what items she's on about. Because I've heard about these items being found down by Drake River. Exactly. Exactly. I'm waiting for someone to come on my chat and call me that. Because I'd like to know how I'd be a tragedy to be when I don't get paid for this. I'm not monetized. So, hey up. Call me one when you're out the door. <laughs> anyway, and I know what item she was on about. And people's coming in their chat and saying, this is old news, which it was. I heard about this over a week ago, about those items, over a week ago, right? And I believe it was a pair of stocks that was white and had a red stripe, which I believe came from the bowling alley. A little torch, you know, bigger than the palm of a hand, and a public house. They did call the police, and the police... They're not sure, the people can't remember now to the torch and whatever else away with them. They can't remember. Right? But this woman last night on her show was making out, oh, because they found these items. I haven't said what the app channel was. Um crime. Hold on, I'll see if I can find it. 
Uh, cause I am a TV, not on my laptop. Alright, so let's see if I can find it. Eleven the true crime. Yeah, I know that I'm crime critters yeah. She's always she's now saying she she believes JP uh KP and CP. And that's because she wants them on her channel. She did the same with um Candice and Don. I I have not heard I've seen eleven eleven whatever. What is it called? Truth. I've seen it going around but I've never actually <coughs> watched it. But last night I was watching her channel, eleven eleven two crime. <coughs> and if anyone was saying on their chat, this is old news. This is not confirmed. And all this lot. She's getting a mod ticket to come out. Right? And Mumu, as you say, MG, she follows the money. Now she is a tragedy pimp. She really is. And I say it on my show because I don't care about her. She don't know me. And I don't know her. But what I do know about her is she follows the money. So you got last night I heard of all three channels, right? That one channel singing that ticket. She's now gone over to KP and CP side. She's all KP and CP. Right? You got Mumu, who's all KP and CP. And then you got Crime, true crime, eleven eleven true crime. It's going around putting out fake information. I'm thinking this has to stop. This is doing my head. I don't know which way to turn some days. I really don't with so I tend to stick to the main channels like um Oh, that was something else. I was watching some on TikTok, right? And in the comments, people were saying the Pascal show had took all these videos down of set. Went, what? Gone onto YouTube, punched in his show. I know, I know, right? So anyway, I went on YouTube and I punched in the Pascal show. Clicked on the videos, full of videos, and there they all were. They were all there. So I went back to that TikToker and went in the comments and I said, the Pascal show has not took down any of the videos. You know what I mean? Now that's just rumour again. That's people spreading malicious, nasty rumour. Who's gone? Who's gone, MG? You want about um, DP and KP? How they've gone off that caravan park, we know that. That's old news, girl. That's old news. Old news. <laughs> oh, no. So they're going right and they're putting that out on a chat, and I'm thinking, oh, don't know. So I've actually gone onto his. Lot onto his YouTube channel. Yeah, Pascal show. Let's think. Pascal had took all the videos of Seth game. I've gone on his channel, and you click on videos, and they are all there.
yeah, if, they, if it was true, I'd be thinking, oh my God, what's going on? Why has he took all this down off set? But now you go on his show, I can actually, I'll pull it up. Right, I'm going to pull it up. Videos. Come on. Right, let's see if it will show me. Let me see if it will let me show you on screen. Uh, Pascal, so YouTube, yeah. Right? Now look. Uh, where are they again? Shocking new details. Landfill search. Right? Uh, where is it again? I've seen them earlier. Keep the ball. Come on here. Just before I come on here. Oh, I'm going to have seen them. Right? On the lives, right? There's a scent detected. To clear some things up. And that's all. On there. Right? Sebastian, SIP. Right? So you can see they're there. So when people are saying he took them down, he hasn't. They're there. And you know how long he, he hadn't took them down as well? Or deleted them? Because I save a lot of them to my Facebook page. And I went to my Facebook page and it's still on my Facebook page. Now if he, if he had deleted it or made it private, it wouldn't show up. It wouldn't be showing up. So, there's so many rumours going around. I can't get my head on it off half the time. I really can't. It's just ridiculous what they've, what's going about. And I think a lot of these rumours about the Pascal show taking all Seth's videos down, it's coming from people who are supporting KP and CP, right? Because people, are, a lot of people are talking about Seth. And I said, I know nothing bad about Seth. If I have, if I do, and I'll tell you something else, someone actually put a comment once on a Facebook page and brought Seth into it. That woman soon deleted her comment because everyone just literally laid into her how dare you say that about Seth Seth is out there looking for his son you know what I mean and so on this one Facebook page you say anything about Seth you're mincemeat you really are but let's go there as you can see, I've gone through them. Right. Still got the one about the ex-wife on there. Um, because don't forget, he covers other cases as well. Sebastian, SA victim, exclusive interview, Kyle, what happened to Riley? Then you've got, I want to clear some things up. Right. And that one where the body was found, but it wasn't Sebastian. And there's the one about the dogs. Right? And I think there she was, he was looking at the Christ live that she'd done. Where Nancy Grace literally called Chris and Katie out on those dogs. 
as I've said to that, someone else mentioned those dogs, the dog picking up the scent. So I put the comment in saying, for all we know, she's probably locked Sir Sebastian outside the door, right? And he's thought, well, I'm going for a walk. And he's took himself for a walk over to the construction site. He's probably cut through the neighbours' gardens to do it. Rather than walk all the way around, he's cut through the neighbours' garden. And he's gone up to the construction site. Because what teenager wouldn't be interested in seeing all seeing all that going on? I know my I I have a job keeping my six seven year old six year old grandson away from me. He'd be wanting me to take him up there every day. So it's it's took and neighbours who live on that new building plot. If you listen. Um, we're going to listen to him a bit. That new, uh, that new, uh, there's a more enhanced, um, of the um, dispatch call for the 11 hours of the first day. Right. And um, it actually says on there. That one of the neighbours on in the newer house houses on that building site has said he has seen Sebastian walking past his house before, but not today. So Sebastian has been up that way before. So it's when his mum shuts him out the house, he takes himself for a little walk. Because really, if you if you got shut out of your mum's house, if your mum kicked you out of the house to calm down, would you sit outside? No. I'd be going, feck this, I'm going for a walk. And I would take myself for a walk somewhere. Go and find a friend or just go and find, kick a can about somewhere. But he's been up there before on his own. Neighbours on that construction site have seen him walking around that area before. And we're going to listen to that dispatch call because someone came on the chat last night and said, listen to the new dispatch call. And to be honest with you, I was very a bit dismissive and I'm sorry, whoever that was, I can't remember who it was now, but I thought she was on about this other dispatch call that I'd already listened to. Right? And it's the same dispatch call, but it goes on to a lot more, a lot long, a lot longer. A lot longer. That first one was only 10 minutes. This is 19 minutes. But it's cut through the 11 hours of the first day. So you could say from, what, 6.39 to 7, 6.39 p.m. So, I've got it on my Facebook page. Have I got it? Did anyone go and watch that? Um, Peter Hyatt for Joey Dunn. Who called police to report Sebastian Rogers missing? That's very interesting to hear that. Right, it is. Well, let me pause it. Oh. Right, starting before I'm ready. Right, this is the one which is 19 minutes long. So whoever said last night in my chat about this, I'm really sorry if you felt off, if, if I was a bit dismissive, but I was honestly thinking you was on about the 10 minute one. Right? 
I have listened to this. <coughs> and it's really interesting. Okay. So, the beginning is literally, for the first 10 minutes, it's literally what we've already heard. But a lot clearer than the other one we listened to. So, let's extend it, make it bigger. No, no, I'm not in the bed. Me yeah, right now, three months. My hair hurts. I put my hair coming down. I find it wearing a black sweatshirt. Do not really have a form of autism. This is the first time it happened. I was going to be in the home before midnight. The doors are locked at this time. Two, 47, 184, and 12. Two knots. Unless his son at the house, the mother is driving around looking for him in a Victoria place. <coughs> By the way, if you hear any music, it is not me. It's on the video. So I cannot stop at the music. Oh. Oh. That is a bit cool, honk. Anyway. So if you hear any music, it's not me, it's on the video. It's her division, and she's driving a big blue infinity. Let's sit there and see what's going on. Go on search of the residence. We'll go from there. In the area. Check on what's up. You can see me. You can see me. I said, there's no medical center ER, center station ER, center regional ER, and Thailand, all clear of the juvenile. You can see that the code red has them on at SM45. Next big track back up, going into the construction site over here, back towards the beach. It's awful muddy. Do you see any so threats or anything? Couldn't have any shoes. I do have some foot around. Right there where you're standing? Yeah. Leading right over here to the retaining. No shoes, just foot racks. He literally dug into it. Next led me straight to the retaining pump. Uh huh. He dug into the water. Yeah, do you see any footprints around it? There was a few uh, footprints in some of the softer dirt. Picture yet. That's simple. What was that heat signature at? Where the rear path is, where the trees are. 25 feet, maybe out in the middle. Hey guys, the construction's on. There's another pond. There's somebody standing in the woods. It's a, it looks like a person. It is a person. We no, but there's another pond. He's standing back there by himself. Past the construction zone uh, in the same area back there. So, uh, the here goes straight back. There's a, there's a person in the woods uh, by that pond. There's the house on the other side of the tree line. We're going on the back side. Yeah, on the back side, and he's not moving. He's just standing there by himself in the woods. Is there somebody on the northeast? corner in the cemetery across the tree line. Am I close? No. Stand by. Let me see if I can find on that. I got my drone down for the moment. And I'll see if I can do it. Very good. Over. One of the two. I'm in my truck. Two. There's four of us on foot coming across the yard. Start your ass. Nineteen. I'm saying. Stay here. Stay here. Keep it on. It should be all over it, whatever it is right there. The two people walking the wood. It's a mannequin. Sorry, guys. Look just like a person.
person from the air. He took two. I think it's another 66. What's the name of the child that we're looking for? First name is Pat. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? First name is Pat. Last clothing description was. Black sweatpants with a white shirt, black long sleeve shirt with a brand. Snakey, how many drones do you have? Right at the moment, I've got my grand trying to get sorted over. Well. I'll be back in the air momentarily. Twenty nine central one thing. Put two out here. And for has anybody been there since the initial? There's a whole bunch of people. Four and a half. Can you help me listen to the radio on North End until we wrap this up, please? Yes, sir. Brandon, you got uh Who is the ever equal with the mum? We know there's the mum. We know there's Seth because he got there about quarter past eight. He said between ten past and quarter past eight. When he got there, CP's mother was there. So who's the ever two people? Could it be and CP? Death guy, dude. There's a little patrol coming up there, and Joe's sending some more cars. If I want, if we can start from the beginning, from the original house, and set up a new plan up there. Yeah, boy, that's what we're doing now, sir. Thank you. One well, no, yeah, so a neighbor advised that he's found the child under his child under his son's car. Which is across the street, two doors up. So be sure and search under cars and under things. Who do you want to go with this other canine search and rescue? I just talked to the GC, the construction back here. He's going to start getting the word out to all his crews that are out here working. Everybody, four to one thousand. So we can get a game plan and reconvene. Hey, Burgett, can you put a drone right over top of this trash can, this dumpster? If there's anything in it, 188, Van, 184 is going to send you a picture. You send out a code red for 1,008 Stafford. Code red was sent out at 0745 this morning. 24. Uh, we will send it in good. Can we retry that, please? Yes, we will do. 188. Go ahead. Can you send the 1,008, please? 24. Well, to any units that are going to be assisting with 1008. Please come to 1008. Have a quarter. Now, please. Start at the beginning of Kelly Lane 1000. We're going to work our way north of Kelly Lane. That's fine. I'll get these two houses right here, and we'll take the right side. The white Ford truck, that's the Hendersonville officer's house that's with me. Morning. No, that house hasn't been checked. The next house up from it to the white right four in the driveway. We will get a never Facebook page. Post was made. 1023 check. Uh, no motion on camera. Three command. One thirty nine will be in has a camera, but nobody's answering the door. Uh, he had some ties at White House High School and every time he got in trouble he wanted to go back to White House, so might notify White House PD or notify him there. Sir. His one. His way with the camera is correct. It's careful. Nobody's answering, nobody's home. In reference to that address, uh, please run a registration check on the testing tab. What's that say? Next is that Joyce 2012 BMW, 750 black and color, registered. At that address, confirm NSR. Correct. When you can't see it, you can find any information. Make sure we can look up on a phone number or something. We would appreciate it. Command the units that are at staff report. When you check a residence, please give me the numeric 
and the numbers that have checked it and whether or not you made contact with anybody. Made contact with 1,000 killing money. Uh, he checked all the cameras, nothing was on. Uh, no answer at 102 or 103 killing lane. 105 answer hasn't seen it. Uh, nothing on the ring doorbell. 104 and you're saying 102 is it 1002 or 102? 1002, I'm sorry. Did you ask if he had any light purple hoodie? I don't know if the parents were there, but uh, just find out if he owns a light purple hoodie with her social work on it. Can they ask? Mom doesn't advise us to call them. Yeah. Um, they were at Dragon Square last night. Uh, just bowling at them. Do you have a unit go there? I'm not sure that he hasn't returned there. Uh, 1015, have ring cameras. But didn't pick up anything. 517, Henderson Villa is with me. 1000, contact and see me if I need another money to go. 1012, Kellen Lane through 20. 1012, go through the entire. The lady at 1032, Kellen, uh, runs the neighborhood Facebook page and she's updating it to request people to look in their cross spaces and hidden areas. Four. Hey, on uh, at 1017, Kellen Lane, did y'all happen to check the cross space? I will have to check my list, but if it wasn't locked from the outside, it was checked. 1,018 Stafford, they are reviewing their camera footage right now. I need to check out that and they got the cameras checked. No, that's not. 20 for your low volume. I got, they got cameras checked. Okay, well, what's up, mate? I'll be out at uh, St. John's Missionary. 1028. Kellen Lane states that he just saw a kid with a black shirt, black shorts, black shorts. had a phone in his hand coming across the construction. Uh, when he, he made uh, contact with this gentleman, the subject went straight back to the woods at the top of Kellen Lane. I just talked to him. He's one head. Thank you. Told all units, when you're done with your assignment, please come back to 1008 Stafford. 1020. Sorry, I'm not. 
conversation back and forth. Like, get autism, it was just reported to us. South side of Long Hollow, from Killing Lane to Center Point. Uh, can you check the field houses that are up on top of the hill by the practice field back behind T.W. Hunter? I don't see that anybody has tracked through there on foot. Pitbull. The barn and my starting location is clear. Residence in barn at 3221 Long Hollow Pike is clear. And from my starting location to Shackle Island, I've walked the entire creek bed and it appears clear. Myself and 182 have been behind T.W. Hunter, all the way behind the uh, football field and baseball field up in the fields. Check it. Myself and 182, we've not met ourselves around to the front of the schools and the top school check. We're still in the back. Very well, we get a long haul flight. Three years. Go ahead, three. The bus and the shed have been checked at 3220. Hey, Paul. Thank you. Can you and your partner stop at Willow Bend and go house to house to Willow Bend? Check all those, please. See more people are driven through it, but it doesn't look like anybody's a house to house. Yeah, well. Every house on Honeysuckle has been checked. The door has only seen the parish man this morning. Nothing else. 3417 THP has joined in with myself and 517 on World Band to check out. The need for the check on. One oh eight one ten one twelve Willowbrook all check no contact with any homeowners and none of these houses have cross crawl spaces. Beach football complex. Were you also searching that area? Yes, sir. Make contact with a realtor at 114. Has 116 made contact with that homeowner. He said he has seen that child walking in the neighborhood in past times, but not recently. Amazing. It's got a beach softball, beach football. It's the one next to the uh, beach going church between it and the first man next. It's the main football complex. We are
Right, that's the end of that. Right. Yes. So, what did everyone, everyone make of that? Like the first thing, it was like I've heard all this before, but then after that, it was interesting. It was interesting to hear that one of the neighbours on that construction site who lived there stated that they had seen him walking around that area before, just not today. So, like I, I think when the mother put him outside as a punishment he decided to go for a walk about so that's how I, why I say the state that the dog picked up on and took him to that construction site could have been Sebastian or it could have been from Saturday or Friday evening, or the Thursday evening, before. So, so a dog picked up on his scent and took him to the construction site means nothing to me. Telling me a dog picked up on his scent into the woods, over the mountains, down a river, and all that, then you've got my attention. You know what I mean? A dog followed it to construction site. You know, at first I thought I was a bit like Seth. Well, if he's if the scent stops, there's only one reason a scent would stop, and that was it. A, it went into water. B, he was carried, or B, he was carried, or C, he got into a car. Right? But, like, I believe now, I truly believe he'd been over there many times before, and that's why his scent was going that way. And... There's one spot, did anyone catch that one where it said there was a sighting of a child who was acting like sitting there back and forth or something with a bag over his head? I was thinking, what town is this? I could understand if someone said where I live or I saw a uh, lad with a bag over his head sitting there rocking back and forth, I'd be going, yep. That's just normal where I live. You know what I mean? But in a town like that, no, that isn't normal. So were people just making that up? Then I don't know. But why would someone phone a person? I saw a lot sitting on a bench walking back and forth with a bag over his head. Why would someone phone up the police and say that? So I sometimes think it could be true. It definitely would be true where I live. <laughs> so. Um, it's like I tell you something, today when I was still at the bus stop, right, to go to the shop, and I was talking to a friend, right, this woman walked past me, and as she's walked past me, I just felt, you know when you get that feeling, someone staring at you, yeah, so I turned my head, and she was staring at me, and then I just realised where it was, she probably heard my accent, and she's probably thinking, 
where's that accent from? Because that isn't Scottish. And I go, I'm always getting people asking me, oh, I had someone, right? And I'm sorry if there's anyone in my chat or watching on Twitter who is from the North, um, oh God. Say the north of England, right? Because they said to me, Newcastle, that was it, Newcastle. This guy went, Are you from Newcastle? I went, Pardon? So we said it again, and I went, That's an insult to. A, the people from Newcastle, and B, the people from Birmingham, because our accents are totally different. So far in, from each other, it's unbelievable. And I thought, I felt sorry for the new people from Newcastle being associated with us Birmingham people. And the biggest insult pay of someone from Birmingham is to call them, right? I had someone get say to me, oh, I'm from Birmingham. Oh, this was years ago now. And I was, oh, yeah, where? We're back. We're back from Birmingham. And they went, Dougley, Dougley. Dougley is not Birmingham. Or was it Warrington? And I said, that's not Birmingham. I said, Warrington, we call it because when they talk, you think I talk, my accent is bad. The yam yams. From Wolverhampton, talk. I'm sorry if there's anyone here from Wolverhampton. You lovely people, right? But there's some people from Wolverhampton when they talk, they go, I oh, yeah. They always put the am on the end of a word. So we call them from Ben, from the Brummies, the Birmingham people, call them yam yams. And so when I said, that's not Birmingham, that's Wolverhampton. No, it's Birmingham. No, it's not. It's Wolverhampton. And Wolverhampton is not Birmingham. Birmingham. And the amount of times I've had, I've had people come up to me when I was working in a social club. You're not, you're not a brummie. And I'm like, pardon no, Brummie. I said, yeah, I am. I'm like, no, you're not. Where was you born? And I said, I was born in Marston Green Hospital. You can't get any more Brummie than that. Right, because that was the only hospital around. And I was Marston Green. But then, then Sally Hall got a hospital. Right. And people say, Sally Hall are Brummies. I'm not going to get Sally Hall aren't Brummies. Far from it. Anyway, talking about that. You think my accent is bad? You wait to the end when you watch and listen. One video I'm going to play. So both Dundee, from Dundee. Yes, I'm from Dundee. I live in Dundee, okay? Try and find me if you can. You can't. You know, if you hear me talk. Anyway, so, and I've heard from Dundee, and I remember when I first came up to Dundee, I sat, I stood there waiting in for this bus to come, and there's two people behind me talking. And you know sometimes they stand quite close to you, and you can't help but eavesdrop. 
Right, I don't care. It's right behind me. I didn't even know what I was saying. Right? Because it was all I, air, and all this like, What? What? Now, what they say? Because I've been here since what? 2008? 18, 18 years, 16 years. I've been up here 16 years. And uh, I've still got my bummy accent. Should be proud of that, really, should not. Anyway, so what did everyone think of that? We got a bit more information out on that one. Right? Uh, as I, I think he's been over there many times before. And that's why the dogs picked up, picked up on his scent and took it to there. Because that's where he goes. When his mum, because I can't see this lad being outside playing. I can't. Right? So I. The only time he went outside was A, to take the rubbish bins down, or B, if his mum locked him out of the house because he was being really naughty, you need to go out there and calm down. What? No. Put them in a room where they can't hurt themselves, right? And just say, well, right, just go there, go in there for five minutes and calm down. Five minutes later, they come out, or like nothing happened. You do not have to put a child outside. And I think, as well, another punishment was you know, the fact that he didn't like to talk about shoes on. I think they used to make him go outside about shoes on as a punishment and lock him outside. Okay. That's just my personal opinion. So I think those dogs picked up on a previous day, maybe Saturday, or as I said, evening. He could have took a walk around to the construction site then. Because he definitely didn't do it Sunday, because he was too busy Sunday. He had the ball of a day. BJ, he went bowling. He went for dinner. He had a wow of a time. So he definitely didn't do it Sunday. And he definitely did it Monday morning because there's no other scent of him around the house. No scent by the front door, no scent by the back door, by the garage doors, nothing. But this dog picked up, picked up on the scent. That took him down the right hand side of the house. As Chris was saying, you go out the door and you go to your right. So you've got a bit of you go to the right and it took you then from the right it took you up to the fence, follow the fence along, then it took through to another back area and that's where the dogs took them. And I think that's how Sebastian used to get to the construction site, to go that way. He cut through the gardens. I think I would, rather than walk all the way around, I'd be lazy and cut through the gardens. Someone told me, I said, sorry, and just carry on. But, um, and then this thing about the Right. It's on Facebook and does not say anything about yeah. 
this is it. Right, it's all right, except guys, I'm Sebastian Rogers. Right, been missing since February the 26th, that's 45 days. Hendersonville, Tennessee. New developments. To be clear, this remains a two pronged effort. First, there is the search. Right, and we all know the other weekend they all commanded a two day search. Um, Ronnie has been searching Franklin and Kentucky, which is where the big tips, the big skips go at the construction site, not the everyday rubbish. Right? Dogs, drones, and officers on foot have all been used. Know that first day. If you listen to that, there's a lot going on in that first day. There was dogs there. There's people going door to door. Police going door to door. There's drones out. They had people on the police on the horseback. Right, then it comes down to, is there a criminal investigation? Say that again. Investigation. He goes on to go, not quite. Why? Because at this point, there is no, no Physical evidence, hmm. No security videos, no eyewitnesses. Well, I'm sure to hell if he's not, if he's going to be physically abusive to him, he's not going to go out in the street and do it in the streets, is he? So, no, witnesses to any physical abuse, right? Do authorities have, have potential suspects in told? In mind? Yes, and that nobody has been cleared. So when CP goes, we've all been fully cooperative law enforcement and all this stuff, and we have been clear, whatever he says, is a load of BS, because no one has been cleared. Even Seth has said that. He said no one will be cleared until the investigation is over. But the simple fact is there's nothing to link anyone to Sebastian's disappearance. Hmm. His father, stepfather, and mother Well from what she said in the CBI press out the other week, it's like they've been cooperative at the beginning. Of the wild rumors circulating on social media, no arrests are imminent. So what is happening? Sheriff's detectives and TBI special agents continue to vet tips that come into 1800 TBI fines. Summer County EMA Director Ken Widener, Widener tells me his crews go where investigators tell them to serve. Sadly, no confirmed sightings and no indication whatsoever of what happened to Sebastian. I promise to stay on this story. Today, what happened to the team, to the team remains a confounding mystery. What do you think? Right? So I say it again, not is the criminal investigation not quite what does it mean? Is that or isn't there? Yes or no? So we haven't really been told is or no. I'd say no. 
Because as I said, there is no evidence of hmm. disagree with that. No physical evidence. No, because the physical evidence no security video. No eyewitnesses. No security video. Now I heard someone talking to me. And I'm going to try and find it out again. Where apparently on an interview, I think it was on Smiley's. I'm going to have to go through Smiley's one again. He said that if he went out one of these doors, he would be caught on camera. So they had got a camera. But it wasn't on that night. Why? Or was it on that night? Right? Perhaps there was a camera around and they have handed it into the police. And because he didn't go out the front door or that back door or whatever door it was, he's not been caught on it. I'd say the camera has got to be on the, I'd say on the front door. And then he says, if anyone was to come in the front door, the house opposite would have picked up a light source of the door opening. Right? So if they say Sebastian went out that door, would that not that camera over the road have picked up the light source of him leaving the house? Just some little things I've been picking up on. I really don't. If he did make it back to that house, right? And if she did hear a thud, like she now says, I think something happened in that bedroom, right? He could have fell out of his bed or he could have just knocked a piece of furniture. I, I don't know. Right? But I think if he got back to that house, he went to bed. He went to sleep after that food. And he didn't wake up. Mainly, I say that because of what she said in the first interview. I went in and woke him up and he was gone. Why would you wake someone up if he was gone? And you wouldn't say he, he was gone. You'd say he wasn't there. I went in to wake I went in to wake him up and he wasn't there. But she didn't in that first interview she said I went in and woke him up and he was gone. I'll try and find that out again. It was either the one on Duchess's show or the interview they did with the news people. But I'm trying to find all four parts of that again. I've got it on my lives, but I want it without me doing any talk over on it. Right? And I can't find it all again. And I've tried looking at that channel. And I just can't find it. So I don't know where they've gone, why they're not up anymore. But it's just these little things, little things that she said. Right? And then there's that du duper's uh, delight at the very beginning of the interview with that news. Reporter. I showed it the other night and you could not. I don't know how I missed it the first time or even the second or third time. I think it was the fourth time of watching that video. I was seeing it. You see, I wasn't looking at body language, I was looking, 
I was listening to the words. That's how I picked up on the fact that she said, I went and woke him up and he was gone. Right? Meaning, when she went to wake, when she went in to wake him up, he wasn't alive. He was gone. That's just my impression I got from those, what she said. Right? And I will find those interviews out. Um, it'll be something I before I do anything because, as I said, Friday, tomorrow night I've got my grandson here. And Saturday night I've got my granddaughter. And I've taken them both home Sunday, hand them back over to their darling mother and father, said bye-bye, I'm off, and I come home. <laughs> but I do love my grandkids. Right, they're a bit full on, I do love them. So, I will search for those videos. I can do that while the kids are here. I just won't go live. Right, because I like to be able to be able to put my laptop down and do whatever I need to do with my with the grandchildren. If I'm on a live, I can't keep stopping and saying, oh God, I've just got to sort something out and go and sort them out. I can't do that. So I can we do some research, but I just can't do any live. And I won't do live. I tried doing a live the other week when my grandson stayed over on the, I think it was on the Wednesday night to the Thursday. Yeah, I tried doing a live on the Wednesday night. And for the first half hour, it was in and out, in and out. So I went in the bedroom and I said, you promised me you would be good and that you'd stay in here and watch your TV. And he did that. He stayed in the bedroom and watched the TV. But um, I think it was just something new to me. But at least he didn't come running in screaming. He did come in quietly and he'd look at me and I'd go, and I'd put you lot on mute. And I'd go, it's all right, you can talk. But I won't do that again. No, not happening again. Not while I've got my grandkids. Anyway, so the room of being a criminal investigating, I'd say is false. It isn't, there is no criminal investigation. The law enforcement haven't said so. At TBI have not said so. So unless they say it's a criminal investigation, I'm not going to believe you. Maybe if Nick Berry said it, but then again, I don't trust him so much after he put that video out of those logs. And that video we seen was only a quarter of the screen. So there's three, more, three quarters left of that screen to be shown. And the video didn't come from a neighbor's house, it came from another road. And I said the first time that camera is very hard. Ankle, very hard. You know what I mean? Too hard for some of them houses down there. And it's because it came from another road. And it was only you you put a screen into four. This person has put it into and took that top quarter of the screen off out, and we just kept that bit. Right? Why he done that, I don't know. Did he sell it to the news channel? Possibly. Did he make some money off it? Possibly. There's a lot of people who are doing things now, like I was saying earlier, and certain people are now going it's got to that point now where people are now taking sides. You're either with us or you're not. Right? You're either with Seth or you're with CP. I'm sorry, CP can jump off at a high cliff. And I'm not following. I'm all Seth. But Seth, if it come out that Seth had done something, then I would rip into him like no one's business. Right, but I don't believe for a minute 
Seth would hurt that lad. He said, you hear it in his voice, this lad is his life. Right? He has no life without this lad. Without Sebastian, he has no life. So you imagine what, what, how he's gonna feel if this lad, if Sebastian is found on the lives. I would not want to be him. And he's gonna need all the support around him possible. And God help whoever just hurt this, this lad has been hurt, God help him. Just God help him. So I was going to mention another lad that I've heard has gone missing. Gunnar. What was his name again? Oh, God, I can't think. Anyway, I'll put it up on my Facebook page. Because I did put it on my Facebook page. He was 13 years old. He went missing on April the 11th. Oh, April the 11th, 50 days ago. He went missing two days ago. Right? And his name was Gunnar Lee Blair. He has been now located and is safe. Right? He's been located and he's safe. Thank the Lord. Right? This, this is what I mean. This lad was found and he wandered off into the woods. So why has Sebastian not been found? Why is there no sign of Sebastian? Nothing of him. It just it's just a bit iffy or what's that word I like to use? Icky. It's just a bit icky. Something's not right. It's a bit icky. Right, that's a, a, a word I used to use a lot when I was down in Birmingham. That's icky, meaning not nice. It doesn't, it doesn't sound, it doesn't smell right, it doesn't taste right. There's something not right about this case. If he'd walked off, he would have been found. Someone said, they believe he'd been put into an uh, institution up the north, up north somewhere, because they wouldn't know about him being missing. Because flipping out, states next door to Tennessee don't have not heard about this. You know what I mean? There's people who live in that area two weeks after he went missing and had not heard about this lag going missing. Right? So, um, it's possible they're talking to some sort of uh, institution or some up the north because there's lots around Tennessee and Mississippi, lots of places for autistic children. But when you're talking, a teenager, they might have a specific place for teenagers, and there's only one this woman found for teenagers, and she said it's more like um, a camp, right? It's more like a holiday thing. So, but they could come in somewhere like that, and as I said, they could make out that. CP is his father. And you don't know. You don't know how they could get around things like that. But they could. But who's paying for this? 
Are his parents paying for it? Can they afford to keep paying to have him go there? Because those places aren't cheap. They don't come free. Who's a, okay? Don't tell me you haven't heard. OJ Simpson passed away today. I'm not even going to get into that case. I don't know much about him. I think he's a, he was cocky. I think he thought because he was a big superstar, big football player, whatever, or basketball, or whatever he was. I don't know. I think some things didn't add up in that case. But anyway, he sadly passed away today with cancer, fighting cancer. The cancer is a big, big thing to me because I'm now coming to my second year of being clear. So I don't. I pity, I feel bad for anyone. And another woman I know just had an operation and she's just been given the all clear. Which is great news. Great news when you get that all clear. And you don't have to have any more treatment. You just have to have med, go on a certain medication for five years or more. Which I'm on. Which gives you side effects so you have other medication to help with the side effects of the first medication but then really i need medication to help with the side effects that the second medication are giving me right so and i won't go back to the doctors about it because i don't want to be on medication after medication after medication i don't i can't wait to be able to say that's it that's my last time i've had to take that little tablet in the morning you know what i mean I've got another three years, three and a half years of that. But it's sad that he died like he did. And there's so many, so many people. Anyway, this is a this is a short one tonight. As I said, I was only coming on to clear some rumours up again. Right. So, anyone wants to have a you get me? Please do. I had my my tin hat ready tonight in case that guy come on again on chat. Right. I believe there's another life, another planet somewhere. There's another life form on it. Yes. You're telling us we're on the planet with a life form on. Yeah. But I don't go around going on about portals and black holes and this and that and like that. I joke about saying a spaceship come over and zoomed Sebastian up out of his bed. That's just me joking about. So I've got my tin hat ready for tonight in case that person come back on chat. Right, I was all prepared tonight for him. Well, like I said, I don't mind anyone having their own opinions and their own views on this case. Whether they're loopy ones or not. Just open my mind, chat and insult my page or me. Or any of my people in my chat. So if anyone on Twitter, I've had a couple on Twitter come through. Leave me. One or two nasty little messages. And I'm thinking, well, why, why are you watching then? Just go and leave me alone. If you don't like what you see or hear, I'm not stopping you. I'm not forcing you. I'm not twisting your arm behind your back to make you stay and watch. Just don't, you don't need to leave nasty comments. Right? Just leave. Just don't bother. 
Anyway, I am grateful to all my subscribers and everyone who does come and watch me on Twitter. I know I've got me over on Twitter tonight. Hmm. I tend to find if I don't put a post up on Twitter saying I'm going live, I don't get anyone on Twitter. I didn't put a post up saying I was going live. Oh well. Perhaps I thought last night I was bagging up with the guy coming in going wrong about the uh, portal. And I'm telling you, he says that uh, uh, autistic children are more prone or something to the other life, like the aliens and all that stuff. I'm going, you no, know, I find children, you not know, autistic children, children, any child, particularly young children, are more open to seeing. like a dead relative right what scared my nephew was the fact that when he saw my his granddad my late husband because he looked like his dad it scared him thinking his daddy was dead right so he's come running out of the bedroom going daddy dead daddy dead and his dad sat there and then out and said, Ellis, I'm here, I'm not, I'm here. But I think it's just the fact that he saw his granddad and because his granddad looks so like his dad, it scares him. Right? My granddaughter used to sit on the floor in the hallway, babbling away up at the photo on the wall. And that photo is there for them. Me and the, me and the dad made it on our separate ways. But at the end of the day, he's still their father, he's still their grandfather. And I'd still have that photo of, of him. Because of my kids and because of my grandkids. Anyway, enough of all that. Next week, I will invest in a new mic, external mic. So hopefully uh, you won't keep losing me in and out. Could be because I move about, getting comfortable, or I lean over to get something and I'm going away from the mic. I could be cutting out then. So if I get an external mic, I can have it closer to me as well. And when I move, I can move the mic. You know what I mean? The mic is going to be going with me. Anyway, so. I'm glad I was able to come out and clear the fact that there is no criminal investigation. Um, the polygraphs are not back yet. Right, people are saying Seth failed. People are saying CP didn't take it. I don't know. If Seth did fail, I'd like to know why. It would probably be because of his medication that he's on from his doctor. Right? So, and as someone said, if he's done it through Nancy Grace, he can't say nothing either way. Because Nancy Grace is going to want to talk about it first on her show. So, because she's the one paying for it. So she's got the right to know what was said and how it ended up. And that's why CP wouldn't do one with Nancy Grace. Because he knows that she would do a, live, a video on it, a talk about it. And she would say whether he passed, whether he failed, or whether it was... Um, Oh, God, what's that word again? Uh, whether it was... Um, I can't think. Where it's not yes or no. You know what I mean? And that's why he wouldn't do one with Nancy Grace. 
By saying he's doing one with law enforcement, means he can sit there and say, yeah, I took the lie detector, and yes, I passed. Where's the proof? We don't even know if Katie took one. She says she did, and that she passed. But I think she did because I heard that when she took her lie detector, Chris was not happy with her for taking it, for taking that uh, polygraph. He was not happy at all. And I also think, when you think about who was at the house that morning, her, uh, Chris's mum was there, Steph was there, and then there's two others. So there's like five people in that house. I think the two others was Christopher's father, stepfather, and Chrissy's, or Christopher, Chrissy's sister. And I think they all turned up to say, we're watching you, Kate, Katie. We're watching what you're saying. Because Seth said himself, he stood there and he watched and listened to what was being said. He made his own conclusion there and then. That's why he said after three days, he couldn't go back to that house again. After the third day, he's hanging up. So he was not going back to that house again. He's probably hanging up of all the flipping lies. And all the BS. And that is why when they did that interview with Nancy, right? When KP and CP did that interview, they asked Seth to come on the, on the interview with them. He said, well, I don't think he actually got back to them. I think he, I don't, I think he said he never got back to them about it, right? But why would he associate himself with two people that A, was in care, looking after his son? It was in their care that his son went missing. Two, all I've done since he went missing is lie. Make up stories, add more information on, right? And give us a load of BS. So why would you go on a live interview with them and sit there and listen to their BS? I know I couldn't because I would be calling them out on everything they say. So, anyway, I'm going to show you this video, and this is just to finish it off the night, okay? This is just to finish it off the night. And it's just to put a bit of light in the air, okay? Right, I've got to find it now. Okay, I've got to find it again. Oh, that went to him. Right. Now, as I said, this is two guys who live in Dundee. Dung right. And they do this to hide money. And I've actually done two of the spicy food challenges. And they do one about pickup lines, and then they go to things where they get hurt. I'm going to show you this one. This was done nine days ago. Right. Don't come at me about this, please. Okay? It's 
it's two legs, two guys in Dundee, and they're doing this. It could make a difference and it's to help raise awareness for mental health. Okay? Now I'm going to go back to the beginning. Okay? Yes, at the end of such a gloomy uptake. So here we go. I am going to know it here. I've got a big screen. I'll tell you something now. The one guy can eat anything hot and spicy. The hotter the better. Yes. 
What they're doing, it's not. It's not in the studio. It's just in. I sit here and I think, really, oh my God, what are you doing? And the pain, they flicked. Oh my God, I'm thinking, oh Christ. Week where they had to answer a question. And every time they got it wrong, they had a wax strip put on them, right? And then when they <laughs> when it got to the point where they could not put no more wax strips on down the face, right? The guy picked his face, the other lad, the other guy had his leg, right? And I'm not joking. She'd just rip them off one after another. I'd be going, oh my God, the pain. The pain. But I thought I'd just show it, just to put a bit of light-heartedness into the end of the video, of the live, right? Because sometimes it can get a bit down and a bit sad and be, really, is this box happening now with picking sides? It shouldn't be about picking sides. It should be about looking for Sebastian, right? And if me wants to have... CP and KP are on there, so then she's welcome to me. Right, she really is. So, I don't care. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you all for being here tonight with me. It's lovely having you here tonight. If you numbers in going across the bottom anyway but the number if you have any information on this case please phone the sheriff's office or tbi on tbi's sheriff's is 615-451-3838 tbi's 1800 tbi crimes the number is in the description right if you really now please go and watch more of their channels just go on the channel and click videos because the others i love just about the one guy on i think on tiktok for sure well click videos to see all the videos come up there and they have some really cracking ones there and it's just a bit of light-heartedness at the end of a, a live right and if you don't understand the word they're saying, don't come at me. I don't, I don't always know what they're saying. Right? Believe me. I've stood there many times and been in a chat and, I, and they talk and I'm going, yeah, well, I'm just sitting there like a nodding dog. One of them nodding dogs in the back of a car. I'm like that. I just, they could be saying, we're going to cut your throat now. And I'll be going, yes, okay. Yeah. Because I do not always understand what they're saying. But you've got to see them. Because you know what, what they do is you know, it's a crime. A, it's a crime that you just ruined a perfectly good meal. But I extra, 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 extra spice to it. And you just get his justice back. The dark guy will get justice on him. 
right? So, like I said, I won't be on tomorrow night and I won't be on Saturday night, but I will be on Sunday. And it'll just be a catch up over the weekend. The only reason I'll come on is if anything breaking news comes out. Okay? If there's breaking news about Sebastian, then I'll come on and do a live. Right? Put my grandkids to the beat beds and say, now be quiet, don't leave these beds, stay here. No, I won't. The one goes to bed at half seven, eight o'clock, lovely, she's lovely, she goes to bed, no trouble. My grandson, he's the one who's up to like nine and ten. And if I go to bed at ten, he'll go to sleep at ten. If I went to bed at eight, he'll go to sleep at eight. But I'm not going to bed at eight o'clock. Right? And it is a Saturday night, so I let him sleep, I stay up. I don't normally go to bed about 10, so I let him stay up till 10, and then I say, right, well, that's it, TV off. He normally ta gives me a tablet around about half eight, nine, because he'll watch TV. Right? And so I'll put it on charge for him for the next day. But as I said, I won't be back on now unless there is any real update on Sebastian, right? And if I do hear, hear any new any new information, which isn't urgent, but so, I don't know, the law enforcement do do a press conference and say that it is now a criminal investigation and whatever. Then oh, that will go on to my Facebook account my ex account and I'll try and get it onto my Instagram account. Right? So please follow me on all three. My ex, my Facebook and my Instagram. My two main channel network sites I do use a lot. So that's what I do on a Friday and a Saturday. I just use my those two accounts. And I do a bit of research. Whatever I can, I'll try and do some research. Research. And I can get the words out. So until Sunday, as I said, it's Friday tomorrow, so I hope you all have a lovely weekend, and I will see you all. Um, hold on, let's try to talk to you See you all on um, Okay. Well, thank you all again for being here. And if you've enjoyed what you see, please hit that like button. Leave the bell. Any comments and subscribe. I was chicken, you know.